Hello everyone, Josh first back again bringing you guys some more over in today I got another guide for you and this is how to actually enhance your uh, real grimoires for your characters to level 2 and beyond while also increasing the skill level for your passives so a lot of cool stuff today um, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step on how to do everything from start to finish just in case some of you are a little bit lost or not understanding really how the grimoire system even works so First off, where do you get grimoires for? Grimoires from, rather. There are a couple places. You can get them from, let's go here first to special. You can get them right now from Untamed Sanctum. Now, the Untamed Sanctum is basically a raid boss, but you cannot bring any friends in to help you. You basically gotta go in solo. You get two free tries a day, so I recommend trying to make the most use of those two tries. If you cannot solo one run, kill the raid boss, then you need to do a step lower that way you're not wasting your tries because you do not get friend support in the untamed sanctum right now currently we can fight uh, ignis which is a fire raid boss uh, we may get other ones in the future but basically after you beat the boss you get a select variety of rewards you get fake grimoires real grimoires and you also get gold dust gold power however you want to call it and the gold dust and gold power is very important because the powder is used to actually either craft grimoire cores which you can then use to make real grimoires or you can also use those to actually fortify your grimoires your fake or your real now i recommend not doing anything with fake grimoires i made a video all about that you guys can check out here on the channel the differences between real and fake ones today we're only focusing on the real ones and how to enhance them so now that you know where to get your grimoires from we want to show you how to actually enhance them. So, let's go ahead and go to our inventory. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into our exclusive equipment. Now, this is where all your grimoires are, your, your real and your fake. And you can tell right away if they're fake or real by their back the background coloration. They're all sparkly, they got a yellow background, they got like this little rainbow icon in the top right. So, they look a lot more appealing than the fake ones because, well, it's meant to be like that. So what happens now when you actually take one of your real grimoires and you level it up to 10 because when you get your first real grimoire it's only going to be a one star and its max level cap is 10. so if we go here let's just grab this one for example this is the one i'm working on right now with kojiro i actually had another one that i was working with but this one actually turned out to be a lot better especially for how his passive works and by the way unlike gear the main substat for grimoires actually is random. It's not fixed. While on gear, the main substat is always fixed. It's not the same for grimoires. So there's a lot more RNG involved with grimoires than there is normal gear. Just so you guys know in case some of you were confused or did not know that. Alright, so you'll notice here that our grimoire is level 10 because we fortified it using powder which I believe it costs like anywhere, I think it's like around 15, 1600 gold powder, maybe a little bit less. It's somewhere around there. I know it's in the thousands, but it's not 2000. So it's somewhere in that middle there of how much you need to actually max from level one to 10 on a one star real grimoire. Um, you'll notice that my skill for my passive is called Emperor's Call. It's only level one. You'll see that my damage date, uh, taken damage reduction rate is 6.16%. So it's very good, so I want to invest into this one. This will be the one that I want to feed my dupes into. Now, to enhance, or enchant as they call it, you need a dupe. And it cannot be a fake dupe, it has to be a real dupe. So if you notice on the right side here, I actually have three copies of Violet Sparrow for my Kojiro. I have one here that it's, it's already a level 10. I had another one that I was keeping originally, not thinking that I was going to get a better one, but I did. Max it out at 10. Don't do that. I would recommend waiting to get two or three and then only maxing one out um, unless you don't really care. But yeah, that was my mistake. So try not to make that same mistake. You know, you live and you learn. Um, so that's two copies of it that I have. And then I should have one more copy down here. So I got three copies of this. Now, you're going to have to make sure that it's unlocked if you want to equip it. Obviously, it'll give you that notification. Um, we're just going to go and unlock both these because I'm not going to use either one of these because I'm very satisfied with this one. Taken damage reduction rate percentage is actually very good because of the way his uh, passive works, you want him to be in the first or second row taking a lot of hits because he actually poisons enemies that attack him. 
So it's very, very cool how Kojiro's passive actually works. So with tam taking damage reduction rate being my main substat, it's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and invest into this one. So now that you have your grimoire that's real and you have it to level 10, it's now time to enchant if you have a dupe. So let's go ahead into our enchant. Right, as you can see here, that it's going to go from level 1 to now level 2 skill, which is cool. Um, you're going to notice our attack is going to go up by uh, 77. And our level cap is going to increase from level 10 to 20. And it will now be a 2-star grimoire. It's going to cost 25,000 gold, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and select our dupe. We'll just grab this one for now. And boom, we're going to feed it in. Bam, it is now a 2-star and you'll notice that your main substat, unfortunately, like gear, unlike gear, does not go up either. So whatever main substat you get that you feel that is somewhat decent, it's not going to get any better than that. But your skill level will go up. And we're going to show you what that looks like too. Because it's definitely going to be a little bit better than it was before. Plus, you're going to keep getting that attack increase the more you keep leveling this up. I don't know if I have enough power to take powder to take this up to 20 but let's see let's see how far i can i don't think i have enough powder though to be honest uh no it's gonna cost you 50 700 gold which is not bad but it's gonna cost it looks like 2850 gold dust gold powder to get that bad boy up to level 20 so we're definitely gonna have to work on that but it does increase your attack by an additional 85 so you're starting to notice that these grimoires start becoming pretty dang powerful if you save up a lot of gold dust, gold powder, and if you keep getting a lot of dupes. The attack does not seem very great at a one star, but you are noticing that the attack does start significantly going up. So let's just go ahead and take that as far as I can take it, which would be 2400, which would take me to level 17. Still not bad, so we're just going to fortify that. Um, not bad, but basically... When I get that up, I'll be able to feed in another dupe and then take it hopefully to a three star and then Thank you for that subscription so much appreciated during the video. I love when that happens guys But yeah, so that's pretty much the whole process. It's nothing too complex Let's go ahead and check out our Kojiro now. You can see that he has a level two passive Check that out. He now does status effect one hit and inflict poison that deals damage equal to 13.7% of attack every 6 seconds for 30 seconds uh, to the attacking target. Success rate, of course, is very low, 15%. Uh, decreased status effect resist rate by 20% if you do poison them. But um, for SSR heroes, of course, a lot of the passives are going to probably be a lot better. But this is just an SR hero, and it didn't cost me anything to do that. It was just, you know, pure luck. But... If some of you have been wondering how this whole process works, hopefully I explained it to you um, in, in, in as much detail that you need. If you have any other further questions, be sure to ask me in the comment section below, or you can hit me up in the DMs or even in the Discord in the description below as always. And don't forget to subscribe for more, guys. I'm going to try and bring in more content. Um, again, if you watched my last video, I will be going through some minor surgery here in the next day or two. So I don't know when I'm going to be back into my normal activity on the channel. But I do appreciate you guys waiting it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, drop a like if you did. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Subscribe, as always, for more content here on the channel. Until then, have an awesome day. Peace.